Hey guys, Evan Karn here with yet another informative video. Hoping you are enjoying the frequent uploads. If you keep watching them, I will keep making them. So one of the reasons I wanted to talk about my own um, natural or not status was so then I could talk about other people because I feel like either people fall into two categories, like everyone's stronger than me, so they must be on steroids or no one's on steroids and you're just naive as fuck. So the truth is usually somewhere in the middle and I definitely consider myself, you know, as much of an expert as one could be in terms of whether someone is on something or not. Um, you know, just my years of experience doing it on myself, observing other people. And I'm just overall a very logical, rationally thinking person. So I'm sure you've seen Greg Doucette um, make a lot of these videos. So we'll see how this does and I will see if you guys want me to make more of these. So the first one we will be talking about is IPF powerlifting sensation and uh, YouTuber Russell Orhe. So I'm sure you've seen him before. He is the 83 kg um, IPF world champion and he has the world record in total and squat. So the first thing we want to talk about in terms of whether someone is natty or not, and again, it gets tricky in powerlifting. Why I wanted to start with a powerlifter is because pretty much all bodybuilders are on stuff. And in powerlifting, you can be pretty strong and get um, and be natural. And obviously, he's competing in a uh, drug-tested federation. So in terms of appearance, he obviously does have very good genetics. Um, so I wouldn't say that you should expect to look like him as a natural. But I definitely think when you look at his, you know, delts and traps, they're definitely not, you know, very full um, compared to someone who actually is on gear. In addition, he isn't exceptionally vascular. And the only time you even really see his veins is when he's just using like absurd lighting. And he obviously uses a lot of filters for his picks too. But overall, I think if you saw him in real life, now I haven't, but I can just sort of tell that he wouldn't be like this huge jack guy if you were to actually see him in real life again he's probably like five foot five or something like that and one of the reasons his legs look so big is because they're so short so it creates some sort of an illusion like for example my arms are like 18 and a half inches but because they're long which is obviously good for deadlifts they're never gonna look that big um so that's just sort of you know a genetic thing so jeff appearance wise i don't think anything jumps out like whoa he has to be you know taking something again good genetics you're probably not going to look like him as a natural but i don't think that by itself is enough so the next thing we want to talk about is his lifts obviously so squat i think 690 bench around 430 deadlift 711 so obviously the squat and that's where he has the world record in is his best one but again guys you know in terms of the squat a lot of it's range of motion. Again, he's obviously always going to be a better squatter than me just on that alone. Like, but I would have to gain just a ton of weight to fill out my frame to even have a chance. Um, so again, that is still very impressive. I'm obviously, but, um, you know, there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of naturals that have good squats. And for example, I think like in the 130 pound weight class, the, like the world squat, record holder is actually like a dwarf like legally with like an over 600 pound squat so he's obviously not legally a dwarf but um there is some of that going on you know bench press obviously better than mine but again i just have really bad um you know leverages for bench press in addition i can't arch so i, I don't really compare my bench you know to other people's in terms of whether they're natural or not um deadlift 700 i think 11 which is very impressive because it is conventional. And again, I definitely think the conventional deadlift is the biggest sign, again, of the lifts of whether someone is on something or not because it takes the most strength. There are a lot of guys, you know, they pull 700 sumo or something like that. And I definitely don't think that by itself is a sign you're on gear. Again, you know, these guys are like 18 or 19, like you see a new one every day. So it definitely is a more a bigger sign of strength especially on a power bar but again that just isn't like mind-boggling like you know 7-eleven it's like all right um you know impressive but nowhere near like something where you have to like take drugs to get to um 
So then another thing we want to talk about is because he is an IPF competitor, there are drug tests that he would have to pass. So you have to ask yourself, is that he the type of person that would be literally going out of his way to cycle on and off for competition? And between the fact that, you know, he's making money on YouTube and has a gym, so it's not like his life is about actual powerlifting competitions. And the fact you have to be like pretty clever to be doing that, like cycling on and off and taking masking agents. And I don't mean to say he's stupid or anything, but for what it's worth, there was a video where he didn't know how to pronounce penne pasta. So that's all I'm going to say on that. If you think that's the type of guy who's going to be, you know, taking stuff, cycling off, you know, taking different masking agents to conceal it. I really don't think so personally. Um, so another point is um, if you saw the video Greg Doucette made on him, um, he was very like, very, he just sort of just laughed it off. Like he honestly took it as a compliment. And that's honestly, if you were natural, that's how you you would respond. Like you would just take it as a compliment and think it was funny. Whereas if you watched the Teron Beckham video that Greg Doucette did, he was like very upset and, you know, very agitated and calling him names and all that stuff. So just a huge difference in how he responded. Um, and then Greg Doucette, would later make a video that he thinks he is actually natural, whereas in the first one, he didn't think he was, but that was just based off just like an Instagram pic where he like lied about his age or something. But I don't know, that was stupid. That had like nothing to do with anything. So then the last thing I try to ask myself in terms of whether someone is in fact natural or not is the Mike O'Hearn argument, where it's basically like if Mike O'Hearn was actually natural, then why wouldn't you just take tons of steroids and be like, Mr. Olympia, but it's because he's obviously already on tons of steroids, so that can't happen. And that's literally the best he can be. So in terms of could he be better than what he is, is what I'm saying. And yeah, I think he is, could actually. If you look at his, um, so his IPF world record is around 1836 or something like that. But that's only about 40 pounds better than what John Hack did when he was in the IPF. And that was, you know, several years ago. And he would go, obviously, he's gone on the total over almost 2,100, um, I think 2,066, but over 2,100 in the gym. So that's obviously, so if John Hack stayed natural in the IPF, you could definitely think that maybe he'd be where Russell is or even beyond that, okay, just because he has the IPF world record. Again, it just doesn't stand out as so good that you could never beat it or something like that. Whereas some other IPF lifters, what I'll get into in other videos, are sort of just mind-bogglingly strong. Um, so, yeah, I don't think he's really at that level. But, uh, so, yeah, guys, you know, just let me know what you think about that um, and who you want me to make a video like this on next. Um, you know, I don't know any of these guys personally. You know, it's not biased at all. And I wanted to start with someone who I did think is natural. Again, that is the conclusion from this video. And I am probably like 99% sure because again, you just don't know these guys. So let's just say he took D ball for like eight weeks, like five years ago. Like I would obviously not know anything about that. But again, guys, we're just talking about what's publicly available to me or you, and I'm giving you my expert opinion on that. So I do think he is definitely natural and uh, let me know what you think guys. Thanks.